March was National Multiple Sclerosis Awareness Month, and Maryland's First Lady, Don Moore, is sharing her experience with the disease. First Lady Don Moore shares her experience living with multiple sclerosis. I was diagnosed over 20 years ago. And I have been very blessed to have a benign, what would be considered a benign course with the illness. It's an autoimmune disorder impacting parts of the brain, spinal cord, and nerves. Moore discussed challenges in getting a diagnosis, saying as a woman of color, she wasn't always heard or listened to. I had double vision. I had lost the taste in my mouth. I, my gait was off. And he literally said to me, I think you're too type A. And I think you're having a nervous breakdown. Governor Westmore declaring March MS Awareness Month. I applaud the um, First Lady of Maryland for going ahead and, and, and coming out about this and helping to raise some more awareness. Dr. Dan Harrison, a neurologist at the University of Maryland Medical Center, breaks down the illness and the toll it takes on so many. How many people would you say are dealing with MS here in the States? Yeah, so the, the latest prevalence shows that uh, numbers that shows that it's a pretty common condition, a lot more common, I think, than people realize. Uh, the latest numbers suggest that there's about 900,000 people in the United States currently living with multiple sclerosis. Symptoms vary and can include pain, fatigue, dizziness, vision loss, muscle weakness, and more. While there is no cure, Dr. Harrison says treatments are continuing to develop. Medications that will modify the way the immune system works, make it less likely that the immune system is going to attack. I, I practice yoga, uh, meditation, and I decided that that was how I wanted to live with my illness, how I wanted to survive with my illness.